is a man. God, Allah. See ya, see ya. Talk with Jimmy Miller. See, see me, see me. You can call it. Call it out of the room. See ya. Now ready to be free. So it's the rainy season again, and of course, Lekki is flooded. And you agree with me if you live in Lekki and environs or you actually apply that road to put to work, to business, to see friends socially, that life in Lekki is not sustainable. What are some of the reasons why we have this perennial flooding which comes every year and every year? And what do I think is the future of Lagos State regarding flooding? Now, the first reason why Lagos is always flooded is because Lagos is a coastal city flanked by both the lagoon and also the Atlantic Ocean and it has a low relief. So it is always susceptible, susceptible to flooding and also because this water, the runoff, don't have anywhere to go largely and also because of the fact that it is a lot. The amount of the water that falls is quite a lot and we have strained drainage and on top of that people are building on top of these drainages it just exacerbates the issue and makes it even worse off leading to that we are in the whole area of climate change every single country is experiencing some type of extreme you know in the uk for instance they were like oh it's gonna have 100 days of rain in the summer you know, um, those, those were um, what scientists said. And because of rising sea level and changes, atmospheric and climatic changes, Lagos will be seeing more rainfall and this rain and this water don't have anywhere to go. And so every year, you keep seeing these floods, people's cars, people's houses keep being ruined. But what is the solution, if I may add, if I may say, if Lekki is not sustainable, what is the solution? One of the problems is a poor urban planning strategy. And so many times it has gone viral. Many est estates, for instance, in Ikoi, are sitting on drainage basins. You know, you go to the park views of the world, and because of now this proximity to the lagoon, and you are not able to plan other places of the world you need to have an environmental impact assessment risk assessment and you know for instance in the uk before you build in a flood zone there are different categories of flood zone there's flood zone one there's flood zone two there's flood zone three flood zone one you know you just have to take you know some some test so there's the exceptional test and there's another test that you have to take to see can we evacuate people in case of a crisis can we engineer around the crisis of possible flooding disaster and all of that before you build and you know if you see what recently happened with the morass the fiasco of the coastal road the minister could not produce an environmental impact assessment and it was not given to the press and these are the issues poor urban planning you know. despite all of the issues you trace it back to poor urban planning and that's why i think the future of lagos will be planned estates like Macarius, plant estates like Alaro City, plant estates like Isimi Lagos, plant estates in the Bejulekhi, Ekbe, and Axis. Those will be the, I feel like they will be the exclusive communities in years to come. Because, I mean, if you have your 100 million, 500 million, 1 billion house in Lekhi, and people can't even go see you. I saw a video of like people literally telling this guy, you better go back. <laughs> I live in Lekki, I live in Lekki. I won't drown, Moto won't drown. Moto won't drown. I live in Lekki. Finally, we are saved. I got no enter. No go, no go, no go. No go. To you. But the sad thing about it is that. After this um, period of rain, Lagosians will forget about it and go back to life as usual. But then again, there is a warning. There is a warning, somebody posted, that there will be more demolitions. 
because the reason and one of the reasons for the spate of demolitions earlier this year was because of i mean nightmares we do have agencies that actually can predict the level of flooding they were going they saw that the the level of flooding this year was going to be quite a lot i mean these things are supposed to be published i would guess that they are if you actually go and check somewhere online in the interwebs you would see it but they did that because of they were anticipating the flooding and more so if you see places like agungi orchard that people even in dry season, those places are wet, those roads are bad. And so people are saying that there's going to be another round of demolitions in Lagos, Lekki Axis, later in this year, sooner than later, even some um, analysts are predicting. So for your peace of mind, and another thing is that the Lagos State Government is even taking more proactive steps for these areas. They are not going to approve your layout and they are not going to give you building approval if you're on the drainage channel in Ibedileki, Ekpe, and what have you. So you need to have your approved layout before you can even get your CFO. So we're going to be seeing a much better scope and a much better implementation of urban planning that would assuage flooding, flooding challenges, and what have you, proper drainages, proper siting, proper positioning away from flood basins, flood risk areas, and if at all, proper engineering in those areas. So, are you ready to go with the flow? See what I did there? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> go with the flow. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. But these new areas in Lagos, they are going to see a breath, literal breath of fresh air, and they're going to be the exclusive communities in another five, ten years. So position in these areas. Thank you very much. If you're interested, contact me to get you started on your journey. I'll see you at the very next video. Kindly like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.